Hi guys, um, so yeah, this is my third video in one day. It's kind of crazy, but so basically this is going to be like a three minute video. We're basically going to be talking about why I have the weapons I have in my weapon wheel. And uh, yeah, we have Cruz here as well. Say hi, Cruz. Uh, hi. Yeah, hi. Um, so yeah, um, so basically, so. First of all, I have obviously the fists and so first I have the bow. So the bow is good for animals such as deer and other goats or things like that. Okay, and it, if you didn't know, look in the bottom left, it takes down drain stamina while you hold it back. So yeah, that's another thing. Second of all is the rolling block rifle. So this is good for hunting or or any or killing because Cruz has recently bought this I believe Cruz. Bot action. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, he bought the bot action because it's really good and it's a good weapon to use. I'd what recommend it it's good for hunting, yeah? You know my video? It's managed to yeah, 1080p. Is it? Nice. Yeah. Oh, guys, by the way, go check out Cruz's new video. Uh, DMNT is his channel, all caps. Um, please go check him out. And so, yeah, the next weapons are... And also, I'm going to be talking about these things as well. Okay, so basically, the next weapon is the Schofield Revolver. Now, um, the pistol is the most important part of your weapon wheel because it's the dual wielding ones that you want to know so basically um the it's to do with your preference on on what gun uh, on what like uh, dual wielding you want to use and i would advise using the dual wielding because they it's, it's basically double the amount of damage because you're shooting two of the same weapon at once so it's two I and i actually think you'd make another video <laughs> I know, I am. Three videos in one day, this is the first time. So yeah, guys. Um, and uh, now I'm going to be talking about why uh, you should use stuff like throw knives and bowlers and your knife. Okay, so basically, first off, reinforced lasso. So you need a reinforced lasso because it makes targets of bounties uh, stay in the ropes longer. Wait, oh, hi, Cruz. Use me as the um, example. Okay, so basically, guys, um, just gonna get Cruz up in a hog tie. So Cruz now is going to have to get more effort to stay to get out of that. And while they're in there, you could shoot their head, but I'm That's obviously stopping. not gonna do that right now. He's spamming it right now, and it takes a lot longer for your. Oops. Wait, I have to actually, I have to actually pull like different like ways that look. Can you see? I'll okay, so. Uh, yeah, I would advise a reinforced lasso because it makes bounty targets stay in for longer as well. The other one is a throwing knife. So a throwing knife is good if you want to be stealthy in kills. Because a throwing knife obviously won't make as much noise. As you can see, Cruz has got one. And they're very good for stealth. Mm -hmm. And now um, going over to the bowlers. So the bowler, this is what you do with bowlers. Um, Chris, is it okay if I use your example? Uh, yeah. Okay, so you throw them like that, you press circle on them and to hog tie them. So bowlers are good for capturing multiple targets at once. Well, like say- with, especially well with a reinforced lasso. Yes, and Cruz is struggling to get out right now, I think. And yeah. so basically, um, bowlers are very good for taking more than one person. Next and not but but not least is the knife. Okay, so knife is one of your most the most thing you actually need for. Oops, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, so the knife. Uh, me and Cruz are just gonna have a fight with the knives now. Go. And you can see Cruz is very good with things melees like that and yeah. I am trash um, but yeah I would experience yeah 
but I would recommend using the knife a lot more. And in fist fights, right, I'm gonna, um, and we have fist fight crews and um, give another example. So if you're wondering like how to block and stuff, like how to dodge and things like that, you need to hold on square and Cruz, could you throw a punch at me? Yeah. So, yeah, so like you that. got to hold square when they throw a punch, so you dodge it, and then you can counter them like this. You should throw a punch? Yep. Throw one. Basically, and then you, you counter. Like yeah, and then I'll do it on you now, Cruz. Throw one at me. Yeah. So you dodge this. So what? Wait, one second, right, let me punch. Oh, there we go. Wait, what? What the hell? Right, so wait, do, do it one more time. Wait, what? Sorry. D no, it's fine. So you can dodge and then counter. So, and then the last but not least, wait, uh, I need to get up. Okay. So the last but not least is your lantern. These come in handy, especially on your horse. Now, well. lanterns are very good in dark places, obviously, um, because of like, uh, cause they lighten the place up and they make it more clear. And Next on the list, if you get one of the rolls, you can actually get the lantern on your horse. Yes, you, it's really the collector. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Chris. I forgot. Um, next is the pattern bandana or a, a bandana. So, bandanas are used for if you want to rob a store. Or, no, not rob a store. That's in story. But if you want to just like look intimidating and, and things like that. So, I'm you, you I'm not sure, but I think if you're getting chased by the police and you have a bandana on, they won't actually know what you look like or something like that. But the true. only problem with the bandana is you you have random NPCs saying, or you have, oh, that's my dead body. You'll have a random lawman or NPC saying, you, or shopkeeper saying, take that off or I'll report you to the law or something. Because it's not really a good idea to use a bandana, but. Uh, you know, like it's, it's actually like it's illegal, basically. Yeah. So it's next up is the collector's bag. So the collector's bag is shown all the collecting uh, items you need to find. Me and Cruz are working on this because you obviously earn five hundred and forty dollars from coins, and two hundred from tarot cards, heirlooms, and all things like that. So guys, whatever you do when you collect, um collectibles make sure you do not just sell them individually like sell them as one set so yes then sell them, then you get yes more. yes that's a good one next up is the camera so i don't really take pictures um with the camera so yeah um the camera i don't it's good for taking pictures of stuff but i don't really use it to be honest Next up is the metal detector. Now, this is used f for, co for coins. So, basically, what you want to do uh, with the coins, um, so when you go find the area, so that your metal detector will start going duh, 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 and it will get louder and quicker as you go on. Fact, uh, when, you, when I was talking about the lantern on your horse, oh, your horse is a perfect example for that. Is a perfect example. Yep, okay, yep, here's my horse, it's got lantern on. Next is what guns you should use in each slot. So usually I would advise in this slot, use a bolt action or a rifle. This slot, I'd recommend using a, uh, a, a bow. So I'm going to tell you all the um, pistols and guns I have as well. So Wait, I have- how do you change around? Oh wait, I already know the mind. Yeah. Okay, guys. So basically, in this slot, that I could have a choice of violent rifle, rolling block rifle, rare shotgun, pump action, carbon repeater, Lancaster, Litchfield, bolt action rifle. Next up, in these spots, I could have all the same as them, but in these slots, I prefer using the bow and the rolling block. Now, pistols. So you can have two in one. So you could have the navy and the skull field. My usual ones are the navies. Wait, the navy revolvers, which are these, if you wanted to know. There's crews. And then you can have the, uh, my other usual is the, um, 
the Schofield revolvers. Now, I don't, I like both of them equally. Uh, so I, it's, t it's just your preference on what you prefer. But apparently, the best w pistols in the game are probably the Mauser pistols. Even though altogether it costs about a thousand dollars to get them all together, which is just it's insane. So worth it. But the fire rate on them is just so good. That's all you need on the fire rate. Okay, and guys. Also, um, I would suggest, guys, um, when you uh, have an outfit, make sure you get a second, um, like, an offhand, like, holster for your gun because then you can hold two revolvers at once. It's really helpful. But yeah. Yeah, um, so thank you for watching this video, guys. Um, and I'll see you. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Oh my god.